Welcome to Talking Heads on USA Global TV, starring the one and only wonderful Dr. Jacqueline. It's a prestigious place where world-class influencers and experts meet, and where you'll find the most trusted advisors and coaches for all things in life and business. Visit usaglobaltv.com to sign up for our newsletter, get the value you need, and be first in line to learn about events and giveaways and other valuable content. Connect with us. Email Dr. Jacqueline at usaglobaltv.com to talk about how you can become part of USA Global TV. That's USA Global TV, where the doctor is always in. Hello and welcome. Welcome, welcome to the Wild at Heart Show, a show for men, by men, about men, real, authentic, uncut at USA Global TV and radio. My name is Roland, Roland Friedel. I am a co-host. I am a moderator. I'm a talking head and elevator listener on USA Global TV with a lot of passion on it. And yeah, we have a new topic this week. You know, every week, every Wednesday, a bunch of men come together. We call the panelists. We do bonfire talks, meaning we sit together virtually and we discuss different topics for men, by men, about men. And if you missed, maybe you're new for the first time here or you missed some of the shows, please go to our, on our website. It's bonfiretalks.com. There you will see all recordings. And you will also get the opportunity to contact all the panelists. Actually, for this show, we are four men from different parts of the world. I'm just right now broadcasting from my motorhome, traveling through Spain at the moment. And as I said, I'm not alone for this topic. Uh, what's the latest fashion? Is style important for men? I have an amazing uh, panelist. And I've started with welcoming, especially, well, let's start very on the east. From Egypt, my dear friend, Hassan. Hello, Roran again. Yeah, Hi, Hassan. You. Great to yeah. see you. Miss you, guy. I'm always very looking forward when we meet on a Wednesday and I see yeah. you all again. Hello, hello, to Egypt. hello to Egypt. Yeah, Thank let's go you. a little bit more west. Our um, next panelist is from Poland. Welcome, my dear friend, Marcin. We just had a show before, the Europe show we run together. Hey, Marcin, great to see you again. Hi, Roland. Hi, Hazem. Yeah, good to be here again. Hi, 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 man. Always good to see you, man. And we're going more west from Germany, my dear friend, Christian. Christian from Germany. Christian, welcome. Hi, guys. I'm greeting you from the cloudy uh, place called Straubing over here. Over here. Yeah, and I'm, 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 I'm on the more the west right now in Spain. Sorry, guys, I don't want to make the challenge, but I know that in Egypt the weather is nice too. But here in, in Spain, it's an amazing sunny day. Um, and it's a beautiful warm weather too. That's why I'm traveling in the winter in Spain and work from there in remote year. Gentlemen, fashion. I was really surprised how you dress up for the show. And as I see, everyone has a different style. And ladies and gentlemen, there is no script. We didn't talk before. So one has a t-shirt, one has a shirt, one is with a hoodie, one is with a skirt. So we didn't talk. Really, really, it's it's just by accident that every one of us is differently dressed. And ladies, if you're watching, we don't put the camera down. Not at all. Okay, so let's get started, guys. What's the latest fashion? Are you really updated about fashion we talked a little bit about backstage are you really updated are you generally interested it doesn't mean that you buy the stuff but are you generally interested in the latest fashion and how do you decide yeah how you style who wants to jump in christian you are unmuted <laughs> why me <laughs> because you're unmuted i saw that you're unmuted in the microphone <laughs> oh man yeah that's 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 a topic man well <laughs> Um, I think for me it works best. Um, like I can I can get into fashion stuff um, just outside my business because um, there are some some like old fashioned business rules. You have to wear um, like uh, well, man, um, um, a polo shirt, something like that, or like a like a tuxedo stuff like that. So there is not too much fashion going on. Maybe you can you can have a variation with some lines here, or you can change the colors. But um, 
business wise it's is most like black blue or maybe a brown so you don't you don't play too much with colors in in business style um in private well things kind of look different for me um as you can see like i call i call this here fashion as well my tattoo um it's it's kind of fashion to me um and i i tend to to show it like this thing here this this shirt has a, a white i don't know how you call it it's it's not tight like here to my to my neck or so stuff like that and um sometimes i i buy my clothings um on the internet from a, from a designer he's from bulgaria i think sofia exactly so and those are the clothes I like to wear outside. And this is this is not main fashion or main style, but it's the the style I like and I love. But I can only do it um, in private. So this is how fashion more or less works for me. Thank you. How about you, Marcin? Huh? Uh, it was very interesting to listen to you, Christian, because uh, I think we all work in the same industry or a similar one. And the um, clothing and the dress code is very strict. So I have a very fresh memory of delivering a training for a tax company, so um, consult tax consulting company. And you can just imagine that the dress code was pretty strict there. And um, I went... Uh, like a long road with my um, dress code uh, in a training room uh, over past uh, two years, I think, because I've started with only black, uh, white shirt, you know, some chino uh, trousers, uh, some belt, uh, very nice leather shoes, and that was it. I was not using any jacket for that, just the white uh, clean shit and uh, shirt. And um, basically... <laughs> <laughs> Roland, you got me with the smile. Thank you. Uh, so um, then after that, I uh, started to experiment a little bit and um, I started to wear like a very uh, powerful and colorful, colorful socks for that uh, because uh, it was only visible from time to time and the shit was still white. And um, uh, then I uh, decided to go further and I started to wear uh, shirts with some flowers because I love nature. I am nature, so this is very, like a natural for me. And then um, I found myself with this, uh, you know, colorful uh, shirt with uh, a pretty loose um, chino, uh, chino pants. And then uh, as I usually, and even now when I wear a hoodie, I, I like to have my sleeves up. This is like I do with everything that I wear. <laughs> so um, I just uh, started to roll up my sleeves during the training, you know, because this is like my my suit. Uh, so the, the the shirt with with the sleeves uh, rolled up, and uh, then all the guys started to look directly at my tattoo, and I found myself because this is a freshman one. I have it like for four months, and uh, this is a new for me, right? So I thought, oh my god, they are all looking at this tattoo and uh, then even one lady because we were talking about uh, also um, accepting other views and being you know um, more open and they said yeah uh, when someone is putting up the tattoo they are doing it for the reason so they are just asking us to stare so it is obvious that we stare. And uh, one lady said, yes, and you even rolled up your sleeves in order to showcase yours. And I just remained calm and I said, yes, or maybe I'm just hot. <laughs> And it was true. And, you know, uh, so, yeah, I love what you said, Christian, about tattoos, that it is part of a fashion. Uh, I used to experiment a lot in the past, so uh, maybe we'll talk about it later. I do not want to take too much time. But I must say, actually, to admit to some guilty pleasure that I have together with my wife. And if you are th uh, now thinking about clothing and things that we may like, do not think this way, okay? I'm talking about watching a top model together. 
So actually, I don't know if you know this show. So actually, basically, a bunch of girls and boys are competing in order to be a top model and wear or couture and things like that. And it is so stupid and so fascinating at the same time for us. But to be honest, I started to look at fashion uh, from a different side. So I really saw that these people are into it. And for them to present like a very futuristic designed uh, clothing is like a form of art, form of acting. So I thought, yeah, maybe just this old couture stuff and different things that you can see on the runways is just an, a form of art. So before I used to laugh at this, uh, but now I just perceive it as an art and I, I kind of like it. Thank you. Thank you. Hassan, how about you in the Middle East? Yeah. I know that you're uh, very, always very style and I love your style. So how about you? I'm very curious about you. Thank, thank you, Roland, very much. Uh, I don't know uh, if the style uh, is something different than uh, being uh, fashionable and uh, to what extent uh, can a man uh, or a woman, of course, be fashionable. Oh, for, for example, uh, every year there is uh, new fashion, so we all uh, see it in uh, the internet or if we went shopping, we will see the fashion of the, of, of, of the year. So uh, you, if you're going to buy something, you're going to buy, buy the latest, of course, because they're, gonna, they're not going to present something old. So, so we're led by fashion. But here, uh, what suits me? So, for example, if uh, the, the, the pants this year is so tight, so is it in my age that I have to get uh, this pants, which is so tight? Do I like it or do I like fashion? This is uh, something we have to be aware of because uh, I don't, for example, I don't wear uh, tie, tie pants. So I, 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 is it I'm not fashionable or I can give it a chance and then let's see how it goes. It needs actually um, uh, courage. Uh, and uh, why not to try but uh, don't laugh at yourself <laughs> because maybe 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 when you try it uh, it will uh, make your spirit uh, goes up and and you feel happy about uh, yourself uh, my, my style uh, i'm not uh, into fashion 100%, but of course, uh, every now and then uh, I, I try to buy something uh, nice and, and fashionable. Uh, I, of course, at work long time ago, we, we used to have our dress code, which is a tie and a, a suit and so on and so forth. But now I'm 50. Uh, <laughs> I hate suits, maybe in a seminar or something that I have to do. And I like uh, dark uh, suits, yeah, uh, maybe uh, black or uh, dark gray or something. Uh, also, I like uh, uh, to wear uh, uh, a black uh, uh, shirt or something. Yes, I, I, I like to wear black more than uh, any other color, but I, I like also to uh, change colors every now and then. I don't have any problem with that. Uh, and I have this in my hair. I don't know if this is fashion or not, but uh, I like it <laughs> for a while and then I change it. I, I don't, I, I, also this is new, couple of years, but uh, before uh, I was like uh, Christian, I used to shave every day. Yeah, so uh, I, this is not because of the fashion, but because I want to change a little bit every now and then. It's more about uh, change. So I, I think fashion uh, is something good and uh, good for the spirit, but um, it has to be reflected with your age. Something uh, will suit you in this age, but will not suit you in other ages. And uh, yes. Thank you, Hassan. So what I can hear from you, my dear friends, is that, yes, you're interested, but it's not too much. You don't go too crazy, always the newer stuff. It has to fit okay. into what you're doing right now. Yes, I love this time. Well, I, I, actually, I'm, I'm the same, you know. Um, 
um, to be honest, I tried a lot of stuff, um, um, especially in business. Um, and business I always wear a suit, or at least, at least a jacket. And as you said, Marcin, as a chino, a, a dark chino, I do this, of course, and always business shoes. And later, a little bit combination with sneakers. But to be honest, for me, fashion is is has uh, my clothes. I don't say my clothes. I have to feel comfortable. That's the first thing. I have to feel comfortable. I have to li like myself and feel comfortable. Secondly, I it's also for me a tool to show respect to another culture, or even the culture of a company. So when I work from what. A traditional company, of course, I'm in a suit. I, ne I never wear a tie. I will uh, tell you later. I never wear a tie, but I have a conservative suits. Yeah, dark suits, dark blue, or maybe uh, 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 dark blue with this with these lines, or, or dark gray or something like that. Business shoes, and uh, a single color, monocolor, white or light blue uh, skirt. On that, yes. To be honest, I I also I'm fully tattooed, but I don't show them because for me in business it's not about me; it's about the client. I want to distract, and especially I don't want to offend someone. Meaning, I'm not ashamed of my tattoo. I love them because they all tell a story since many many years. But I don't want to offend someone. So like, hey, I'm cool or something like that. So I don't do this. I just focus on my clients. Uh, in business, it changed a little bit. I, 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 some of you know I left corporate world very, very early. I had a very fast career as the youngest member board director. There was a suit and a tie. I remember this. I had a huge silk tie collection. Collection. I spent a hell of money on silk tie, all silk tie. I had more than 200. Uh, I knew it because I gave it away to a friend and they counted them. So when I, when I left corporate world, I gave up all my ties. I just kept my flies. Because I love to go on nice events on a smoking and a fly. I love it. I love it. I love a nice smoking, a smoking with a fly to go with my love for to a nice event, to a gala dinner or to a ball or something like that. I do that. And privately, because you said privately, it's different. And to be honest, it depends what I'm doing. I mean, when I was on my farmhouse in Mallorca, I just had a shirt, a short and flip flops the whole year, the whole day. Uh, and my wife, she had said she was a former top model. She said, Roland, please, can you be like I met you 14 years ago, always in this nicely dressed? I said, no, we live on a farmhouse. I'm, I'm like this. So even in my motorhome, yes, like this, uh, very, very, very casual. But, but when I go in a city for shopping, for lunch, for meeting friends, I never, ever go in a short, never, ever. So always a trouser with long legs. And never you will never see me in a city on shorts like a tourist. I do this in private or I do it on the beach, but never when I walk in a city. Doesn't matter how hard it is. This is a, for me a style that I learned. Or like Karl Lagerfeld said, when you go in public in a in a in a in a in a hoodie or in a in a chock, how to say in a choking stuff like that, you gave up life. So I never do this privately. Yes, I feel comfortable, but never in public. Uh, and especially when I go out for dinner with my love arms in a good restaurant, it's always a jacket, always a jacket, and of course a, um, a skirt. So I love style, yes, but not every day. So I have friends who go styled in a suit when we walk the dog together because it was the other. No, I don't do this at all because for me it's it's it, it, it doesn't fit together. So I I, I have different. I, I change different world in, in different worlds. I love it, but in business. Uh, as I said, I gave up ties, no ties. And I, I said to my clients sometimes when they ask me, you hire a manager, you hire a coach, or you hire a dressman? Let me know. Okay. So what do you want? You want my expertise or you want my tie? But actually nowadays, actually the last 10 years, I guess it's not an issue anymore. But what I always have, doesn't matter if I have a suit or a jacket and um, and and uh, a chino or if I have business shoes, or maybe more casual with nice white sneakers, I always have a skirt with scufflings. Always. That's my style. I love the scufflings. Uh, it, it looks cool. It's a little bit more conservative. So it's a nice combination of both conservative scufflings. Nice. Always in the same color that fits to my, my other outfit. Of it. And yeah, that's what I do. So, and yeah, but let's go on a little bit uh, on fashion and style because 
Some of you mentioned the dude, the beard. I often changed my style of my hair. I had it very long. I had a pony. I had it on this side, on that side. I had it short here, I had it long. I told it backstage before. I, I was once I shaved it totally, totally bald. I had a long beard. Uh, I always change it. I, I remember my second wife always said, You're changing every month. I said, Yes, you always date a new man. So I always was experimenting. I had a lot of fun on that, not always seeing the same face in the morning when I look in the mirror. I just love it. I just love it to change to change a little bit around. But I guess very, very rare moments where I really have been shaved. I mean, because the years, because I had a beard, of course. But uh, when I look at the old photos, I always had a beard in different lengths. And something, only a mustard or only this one, but a full beard always the last years. Yeah. It's it's also a kind of style. Uh, um, yeah. And, and now, to be honest, I'm, I'm traveling in the South and... I go once a month I, or, or every three years. I enjoy a barbershop. I really love the treatment there. Nice music. Only men. No girls. No chatting. Nothing. Just silence or music, a good drink, and a nice treatment at the barbershop. So, guys, about you want to talk about hair or about what, 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 what you're doing with your beard? Is this, is this important for you? Are you going to barbershop or do it yourself or... Uh, why do you have your hair long or short, a beard or not so beard, or why do you shave? <laughs> Roland, that's too much questions. <laughs> I give you so many options, guys. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think. Uh, yeah, uh, sorry, Martin. Go ahead. Yeah. No, no, no. Go, go, go. No, uh, I think uh, I can recall that Christian said that uh, he used to shave uh, his head and, and I asked him, um, are you trained for that? Can you hurt yourself? So he said, uh, no, it's, it's easy for me to do this. Yeah, that, that was so cool. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. And I cannot well, imagine Christian here because it looks so cool how he looks like. <laughs> Um, yeah, maybe it's a maybe it's a nice to hear story um, how I came to this hairstyle. Um, because when when I was younger, um, I had um, my hair almost like you, Roland. And uh, but I um, I don't know how how you say it. I I changed the color to white with um, with hydro hydro oxygen. I think it is. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. so, so you, you oxidize you, it or something like that. Exactly, and and your hair turns white, and usually you have this in a in a six percentage um, mixture. Yeah. And um, my sister, she was in an uh, I think it's apprenticeship, like she was in the first year, and instead of the six percentage, she used the nine percent on me, and left it on my head for the same time, like the six percentage. So you can imagine what happened. All my hair. Oh my gosh. Um, we tried to wash this this stuff out, this chemicals out, and I did it like this, and I had all my hairs inside my hand. So my sister was like, "Oh my god, what have I done?" You could be burned. <laughs> yeah, it it, it yeah. really it was all red here. Yeah, and um, it was irritated very uh, very much. So that happened on my twenty fourth birthday around that time. And um, then I was like, okay, what to do? Because here on the sides, there were still hair and it was still good. So I was like, okay, come on, shave it all down. And um, the bathroom was on the first floor and I went down to the kitchen where my mother were and uh, my girlfriend. And I came down the stairs and they both went like, whoa, what have you done? And I was like, it wasn't me. It was Susanna, my sister. So, and um, by that time I did a lot of, um, a little, I did a lot of sports. Like I trained seven or eight times a week and it was so cool because I saved so much time with this, like having a towel go like this, finish, I'm gone, I'm done. So I kept it. So that's how I uh, got this great hairstyle and um, accidentally by my sister. Yeah. <laughs> that was but, it. So, uh, but, did, did it but, grow did again? Did it, kill it? did it grow again? Yeah, that's my question. Did it grow again or did it kill all your roots, uh, your, your no. roots too? Okay, no, okay. that it, it grows again. Okay, okay. But it was it was so so practical, so I, I uh, kept it. 
Yeah. And um, the one thing with style with me is maybe something um, weirdish. Um, when I when I see sneakers, I like very much. I got some orange ones back there. I always buy two pairs of them. <laughs> so I got a few pair of shoes. I got two because I like them so much. I don't want them to be gone. And I, I wear them till the end. Like they're, they're tearing apart. <laughs> I love them so much, my sneakers. And yep, I buy two pairs. That's so, funny, uh, Christian, because it happened to me years ago when I, when I also bought orange sneakers. I love the color so much that I ordered the same one on online again and I want to have two pairs. <laughs> orange too. Okay, sorry, Marcin. Go ahead, my friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in this club as well. Uh, just recently, I uh, found out like a perfect uh, design of sneakers for me made by one of the company. Um, they have a, a lot of variations of colors uh, of their sneakers, but the model, the shape of the sole is the same. And because uh, my feet are pretty wide, uh, so I need to have like this, I'm fragile to some designs of shoes. Some of them are too narrow for me. And this one is like fits perfectly. So uh, firstly, I bought just one pair but i was so happy with this it, it is so comfortable and so nice so i uh, bought another one and then when the, my wife um, saw that i like these kind of sneakers and she really wanted me to have one for a long time uh, she encouraged me and i bought another two pairs so basically i have four pairs of the same like a shape and design of the sneakers but the colors are different so now i'm just uh, feel like a drag queen when i can choose the color of my <laughs> sneakers uh, to my chino or to my shirt so it's like the best i now i think i understand my wife better uh, you, you, i, I want to jump into this uh please uh Marcin. you mentioned your wife guys your style is it your style or has your partner or your partner passed an influence on your style Hassan. Mm. i think uh, uh they give they, they give you an idea okay don't wear this on this for example if they don't match if if uh, you're excited you want to wear something you like and uh, no uh, this will not suit you now in this occasion yeah so okay yeah, let's choose another thing yes they have an eye actually and they can help yes i think uh, women are more fashionable than uh, men <laughs> i think yeah so Hassan, when you go shopping private stuff or business stuff do you bring your wife as an advisory as a consultant to help you when you shop uh, your clothes yes uh, nowadays i do yes they, okay. they have, uh, yes, a good look and a good decision. Yes. Absolutely. Thank you. How about you, yeah. Marcin? Uh, yeah, I was thinking about it and I think uh, looks like that um, usually I was very decisive about what to wear and I as I said, I used to experiment and with different fashions when I was in a high school and then at a university. I even saw my own clothing sometimes. So, uh, you know, there was this, um, I don't know how to exactly say, uh, the, the lower part of the pants uh, is like wider, like a bell or something like that. And it, they were like super trendy in Poland 20 years ago. And uh, I couldn't afford it, so I bought like a regular second-handed uh, trousers and I just cut them and I saw them to be like wider and uh, so I used to do that as well. Uh, so usually I was making decisions, they were not, uh, usually not perfect. <laughs> There were like, I have those strangest photos with me uh, dressed like really, really strangely. And um, there were some mistakes for sure. But uh, now, uh, even when I'm mar married, my wife has a um, very strong opinion about fashion as well and uh, my fashion. So, uh, but even, even though uh, she has very strong opinion, I think it is my decision that I choose to wear this or that. Um, yeah, and I cannot remember that she bought me any kind of clothing ever. So it is only me uh, who is choosing 
maybe she manipulated me. <laughs> I don't know, but I think I'm I'm making decisions. Okay, thank you, thank you, Masim, thank you. I guess your wife what, is listening. Yeah. Sorry, but awesome. Yes. Uh, what about uh, the perfumes? Uh, do we stick to some perfume that we like a uh, long time ago, or also there is fashion in the perfumes and uh, the cologne or, or the cologne or whatever the, the uh, things you don't? Is it under the umbrella of fashion? Can we speak about it, for example? Uh, because yes, uh, we can do this. Yeah, we can do this. I just, I, I just want to hear, uh, Christian. Uh, is, is it your decision buying clothes, styling, or do you get your influence from your partner? Do you accept it? Do you ask for advice? And well, then we go to perfume. I'm a lucky guy. Um, first thing um, I said, I, I think I mentioned it before. I, I don't have you're a partner it. right now, yeah, but <laughs> I have, I have. Um, like a gang <laughs> of women um, who always accompany me when I go shopping because they like it to see me in, in shirts, in, um, in suits, in stuff like that. So for me, it's a lot of fun to like seeing them arguing what is the best one for me. So this is the fun with it. And well, it's always fun being with three women, or four women in the city, having some cappuccino, stuff like that and um, buying clothes. So that's the way I handle this. And um, I, I'd love to be influenced by that because they, they, um, they are giving me fresh ideas. They, they're coming to, with, with, with a shirt to me, which I personally would say, no, I never wear this. I won't even try it out. And they come on, do it, stuff like that. And then I, I try it on and read like, whoa, okay. It feels good and it looks good. Great. So, yes, yeah. of course. I love, I love it, um, this, this kind of um, support. Thank you, thank you. Yes, I'm, 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 me too. To be honest, I'm, uh, I remember in the beginning, I, I, it was myself because my first wife was not interested in fashion for herself in general, so I was buying my stuff. Uh, my second wife, she had a chain of boutiques, many, many boutiques, many crazy, fancy designers and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, to be on my business stuff, I bought by myself because I only had tailor-made stuff, uh, tailor-made stuff from Italian uh, tailors. Who, who fit it probably or from London. So I've always spent a lot of money on my suits because it's it, for me, it was less about the label. It was more about the quality or the quality of the, of the material and also of, of, of how, how, it, how it fits on my body perfectly and it doesn't get out of shape. So I always spend a lot of money on that because I, I, I wear them really for five, six, sometimes for seven years or even longer because of high quality. But nowadays, uh, I don't need uh, this ex uh, expensive business so much because I've, we all work remotely. So when I need a new, because I, now the, the trousers are shorter on the suit and, and, and more narrow and stuff like that. So I go for a good shop and then I bring my girlfriend because she knows, she sees me from the back, how it's fit like. So I bring her as advice here. And privately, it changed totally because, as I said, my second wife, she had a lot of boutiques. So she just gave me this, 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 just for free. Take this, 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 this. And my girlfriend at the moment, she's absolutely crazy about uh, fashion, to be honest. She has clothes. I guess we could, I could perfectly, per perfectly uh, run four or five boutiques with all the stuff she has. She only buys designer stuff, only designer stuff secondhand, mostly. And she also always brings me clothes. And I said, please stop, stop, honey, please stop. I live in a motorhome now. I don't have the space. I have a lot of stuff. I didn't need so much stuff, please. But she loves to buy, like her mom. She loves to buy uh, clothes. But I said, please, please don't do it. I only want to buy something when something is broken because I don't have the space right now in a motorhome. And to be honest, I just move my style. And, and I, I guess it was... I don't know. I remember. Husband, I guess it was you. You had this black stuff, and, and Christian, and you said it. I had I had a long time had something very. Everything was black, black shirt, black skirt, black uh, suit, black shoes. I had a, a long time a black face. Then I had a blue face. Uh, and 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 to be honest, about fifteen years ago, I went more and more conservative, more and more conservative, private and blue. And then my second wife, the blue, that changed a little bit. But I always say. I'm now, I'm right now I'm 58. Please don't trust me like a monkey. Don't trust me like a 17 monkey. I'm not into that. So uh, I, I, I listen to my wives absolutely because
uh, of, as you said, I guess you said it, uh, Christian, it's good to do, 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 it's fun with them. And, and as you said, try something different, uh, try stuff that I never would uh, put or never uh, take and have a look at it, but you try it and say, hey, looks cool. Why not? Yes, absolutely. But I don't go too far because as I'm 58, I'm not a 17 monkey, as I always said. Okay, look, it's interesting. Yeah, perfume. I mean, I, I will just answer this question for you, Hasim, and then we ask the other guys. Uh, I'm just speaking. To be honest, I didn't use perfume very long. As again, I said it in, in one of our shows when you talked about body care, I just had a, a toothbrush, a soap, and that's worth it much more. And I started with perfumes or ordered a lot when the, girl, when the girls or the, uh, my wives bought it for me. And now, to be honest, I use them not when I'm alone with Moto and with my dog and my cat here in the nowhere, but when I go to cities, when I meet you, I, I use it, but not for myself. And to be honest, I use the smell or whatever the flavor, what my girlfriend loves. To be honest, I use that, what my girlfriend loves, because I don't care. I, mean, I don't like it too sweet, uh, uh, like like you. I know in, in the phrase it's more sweet. But um, yeah, I, I I I take the 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 order to let what, what 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 my girlfriend loves to smell. Say it like this. How about you guys? Christian. Actually, you, you, yeah, oh, yeah. Can oh, okay. I, I would I would like to jump in. Um, yeah, I don't I don't know. We buy uh, perfumes uh, uh, for uh, our friends at uh, as a present. So, so we choose the latest and we give it as a present. Uh, not always we have the the guts to, uh, to to try something. You buy something new, but if you uh, get it as a gift and you tried it and it's uh, new at the market and you like it, yes, uh, you can use it again. Simply for me, yeah. Very good. How about you, Christian? Um, well, I, I think, um, well, I have uh, two fragrances. One one is my like everyday um, de deodorant, I don't know how you call it, um, which is uh, lavender. I love the smell of it. Like, And um, the other one is uh, Gautier for Man. And this is my for special reasons fragrance like that. So if I go out eating in a, little bit um better restaurants stuff like that but i don't i don't give too much on on fragrances because i said it before in a, in another episode i love the 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 scent of a woman um like like she just smells like her body smells stuff yeah. just okay. like like she is this is like if you're smelling a baby you you don't put fragrance on the baby you smell it like it is and you fall in love with this smell so I don't think um, that, and and I I don't um, I feel like a lot of uh, women and men maybe too uh, they they overdose it, so yeah, yeah. it's Absolutely. just too much on them. So we have, we have a comment from Tarek. Tarek came in and I don't yeah, know I've seen it. This is for the, he he had a very one. nice comment. I had to smile because it said Tarek. Thanks, Tarek, for your comment. He said, truly interested in suitable fashion, but I don't own the choice anymore since my wife took over. Tarek, thanks to be so open and honest. Hey, man, I guess 99% of the men is the same. Perhaps only the men and married men would understand. Yes, Osho says the same. Married men give up freedom. And to be honest, sometimes I too. Yes, he's right, Tarek, isn't he? Well, I would not... To be so sure, I would not be so sure about that. Well, I understand that we can say so, but don't you think your wife would be uh, surprised from time to time when you just jump in some new clothing? Uh, I don't know, want to go too far, but I just believe that maybe uh, something uh, that also something that your wife is uh, choosing for you, um, you really, really like. So maybe my dear friend decisions... Masin, my dear friend Masin, you're the youngest one. Maybe you don't, you're not so long married. You don't have the experience. I can tell you, after 30 years of marriage, 15 and 15, it took me many years that I found out how how clever they made it. And I thought it's my choice, but it was not. I give another example. I went uh, learning dancing. You know, with my second wife, she loved the balls. I never was dancing, but so we went to ball. And, it, and she really made it so clever. She gave me the feeling that I lead. 
and I, I and I stood in the dancing, and I, I think the ladies know exactly how they trigger us or how they how they really manipulate it in a certain direction. I don't know. Me, Rasin, you have to watch out, watch out, my dear friend. All right, <laughs> so ask me in ten years. Yeah, oh, fine. <laughs> but thanks a lot, Tarek. Thanks a lot, Tarek, for your comment. Yes, and I hope, man, you're happy with your wife and you're happy with your choice, and she's too. Uh, <laughs> Christian, as a single, you can smile on that. Absolutely, <laughs> yes. But this is this is a thing. Um, this is a, a more serious topic. Like um, this is like maybe meant in a in a humoristic way a little bit. Like oh, okay, I, she does all my decisions and stuff like that. But this is very serious topic, and this manipulation thing is serious as well. Um, and um, as I uh, as I suggested in our chat, like maybe we uh, do a episode on that, like how women kind of uh, dominate a man's life in a in a relationship. This would yes, be, we do I this for sure. Very interesting. Yeah. yeah, we do this next show. Yeah. Hey guys, watch out, watch out, and learn, especially for those who are not so long married, but happily like my sin. Yeah, <laughs> watch out. Follow on the next show. We have a nice topic. Thanks, Christian, for that. But let's come back to our topic. Uh, yes. We said hair. We said, uh, yeah, fashion. How about how about accessories like I don't know sunglasses or watches, gadgets, or watch it, or whatever. How about that? Is this important for you? Yes or no? And how to decide? That, does it fit to the style, to the color, or? Well, uh, I must say, I um, I admire when, especially uh, for me, when I whatever I went to Italy, I can see only stylish people. I don't know, maybe this is like a stereotype or I don't know uh, an error error of my perception, but um, I just see all the stylish people and uh, everything is just fitted and they wear it like an haute couture or something. But it is like you know with this flow, with this freedom, like it is obvious that they are wearing them, all of those uh, accessories as well. Um, but uh, I must say that um, I would love to have like uh, three or five watches in order to fit to my uh, to my wardrobe but uh, i usually uh, when i have one i love this one so much that i do not want to switch to anything else and then uh, i do not want to have uh, more watches for example because i'm getting too attached uh, to this one i just have two pair of glasses because i need the optical one all the time especially when i'm driving a car uh, so I have uh, these ones and I have also a sunglasses made optical uh, just for car driving. So this is all that I have uh, from time to time. I can have some beads on my wrists, but th that's all. That's all. Cool. How about you, Mas Hassan? Gadgets, accessories? Yes, uh, sometimes. Yes, uh, of course, sometimes you wear things... Uh, uh, at the beach, for example, um, but uh, not always. I don't wear a necklace, for example. Maybe a long time ago, I used to wear a, a silver uh, necklace. It was cool. I, like, you know, the Cartier one? Yeah, it, it was at a time that we all <laughs> wear this. It was fun, yeah. But yes, yes we, we use accessories, uh, but not so, so much, yeah. Christian, how about you? You guys make me feel bad <laughs> because I don't, I don't have accessories. Like, um, if I need a watch, man, I got my phone with me, so it tells me the time. And um, uh, but I had a watch years ago, um, but this was one I got um, as a present from my grandfather, and it was one of those those really old watches, you know, Rolex, like, Rolex. No, 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 no. Not you. You don't wear it here on your wrist. It's like a, ah. you have a, a little chain on it. Yeah, uh, and a, it's a, a, packet, packet, a packet one. A pocket one. Yeah, a pocket yeah, one. Yeah. Yeah. A pocket one. Yeah. This was one, but it was not for showing me the time. It was more like um, remembering me of my grandfather. So I don't have a 
this accessory stuff going on and I usually don't wear um, jewelry. So I'm, I'm more like pure, I think. <laughs> thank, thank you, thank you. Yeah, well, I, I have a watch. I always wear it, uh, always. And, and, and actually, uh, years ago, I had a, a really nice collection of Swiss of Swiss, of Swiss watches, a lot of them. I spent a hell of money on that, but at the end I found out it's a lot of work to really do, to always turn them around about our device where it moves exactly, you know, this automatic one. I, I, I never liked a, a digital one, like, but I'm an Apple fan, sorry for the commercial, but I'm an Apple fan, I have a lot, but not an Apple watch because I go with the Swiss one and I decided just to get to get rid of all of them except one that fits to every clothing. It's just a classical one. And I kept one for my dad who passed away. It's a very nice old golden, golden Omega. I kept this too. It's just a memory of my dad and I only wear it for business with a business suit. But this one, uh, this Swiss one, I have it every day because it fits in sports. It fits, it, it, it doesn't, it never breaks. It fits on a business line. So I use this. But I gave up all others because I, it, it was too much work for me always to keep them going and and, and look at them and which one I only need one I gave it away I, I, I stopped this and uh, yeah we have to wrap up but I also had rings in the past I had necklaces I had it but I I stopped this too because I don't want to wear it on my finger ring sometimes sometimes I use it or you know you have all these bands in different colors yes I use them too when I go out of different colors and I like the style on 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 my left hand with my watch. I use this. But gentlemen, I'm sorry. Our time was running. It really was running. Uh, let's wrap up. Thanks a lot. Thanks to be honest and, and open up and share your actually your private life, how you dress up, how you choose and influence your wife. And yeah, we have, we, have, we have a nice topic and it would be interesting because Christian, our single man, kept on with the topic for next show, how women start how women start, yeah, to dominate a man's life or started to dominate a man's life. But I guess Christian will also have an experience from the past relationships. So stay tuned, guys, on USA Global TV and Radio next Wednesday, uh, 9 p.m. Central European time, 3 p.m. East Standard time or noon at Pacific time. Wild at heart, real, authentic, uncut. Thanks so much. Thanks, gentlemen. And please stay backstage shortly. Bye-bye. And all the best. Thank you. And bye -bye. go on bonfiredogs.com, see the recordings when you missed it, and talk to your friends to see the show. Thank you. Goodbye, gentlemen. Bye.